Police in Detroit are looking for this man. Family members are trying to find a Detroit mother who has been missing for nearly a week. The little girl last seen at her grandmother's east side Detroit home was left in her uncle's care. It takes a village to raise someone. Sometimes it takes a village to find someone. Searching for missing Detroiters is part of what community activist Robert Robinson does. When somebody comes up missing, we stop what we're doing to go out and look for that person. Mm -hmm. And every family that we've helped, when someone else comes up missing, they're right out there with us. Robinson's group, It Takes a Village, y'all, mobilizes Detroiters. When not searching for missing citizens, it distributes food, clothing, furniture, and offers help to seniors. We call ourselves helpaholics. You know, and it's like we're trying to show a lot of young people there's nothing wrong with going out helping somebody else. Robinson, who earns a living as a bricklayer and welder, is a mentor, motivational speaker, and grassroots leader. But he wasn't always this way. You know, being nice, I was a knucklehead. And um, what I used to do was, you know, I used to sell drugs. I went from selling bricks to laying bricks. Robinson's group has over 5,000 Facebook followers who mobilize to help each other. His hope is that young people will follow. You know, if, if we go by what they say, then nobody should be able to walk down the streets of Detroit without being raped, robbed, or murdered. Mm -hmm. So we have to take that and flip it and show people that there are, a lot, there are more good people in the city than there are bad. Don't let the ones who are doing bad represent us. A city will only improve as much as its citizens want it to. It Takes a Village, y'all, is both a group and a statement, one applied by Robert Robinson every day here in the heart of Detroit.